Hi everyone, I'm Jess and this week we're talking about Fortnite's explosive mobile landing, winding way back to the birth of the Halo franchise and taking a closer look at some beautiful Sea of Thieves merch. Here's the TLDR. Blizzard have announced their first expansion for the Year of the Raven, the Witchwood. The latest edition will include 135 cards, feature a new legendary shaman character and new card mechanics such as Rush and Echo. Rush will function similar to the existing charge, allowing a minion to attack immediately upon play. However, Rush will let them only charge other minions and not the opposing hero. Echo will allow a card to be played multiple times in one turn, depending on mana. Due to release in April, pre-purchased customers will get an exclusive card back and 20 bonus card packs. Epic Games' increasingly popular free-to-play title Fortnite Battle Royale is coming to mobile devices. According to the development team, the mobile version of the game will include everything that's in the console and PC versions. The same gameplay, the same map, the same content and the same weekly updates. Both iOS and Android versions will also offer cross-play, allowing players to carry their progression across the Mac, PC and PlayStation 4 versions. Registration for Fortnite Battle Royale on iOS devices is now open, with Android support to follow suit in the near future. Android users can sign up to be notified when support for the platform is active. Midwinter Entertainment have announced a new IP. The company's flagship title, Scavengers, will be a collaborative effort between the new game studio and fast-growing British startup Improbable. Dubbed a multiplayer co optician survival shooter, Scavengers will put players in the not-so-distant future where cataclysmic events have triggered a new ice age. Gameplay seems to incorporate various elements, including exploration, survival and combat, whilst maintaining focus on teamwork and cooperative play. Details are sparse, with only an announced trailer taking us behind the scenes of the game's creation kicking around YouTube at the moment. But watch this space for more details. Not a week goes by without Lara Croft, and this week Square Enix teased us with a reveal trailer for the next instalment of the rebooted franchise. Due on the 14th of September, Shadow of the Tomb Raider will release on PC, Xbox One and PS4, and it's the third Tomb Raider title from Crystal Dynamics. We're definitely looking forward to seeing more of this at E3. Yar, me hearties, gather around and we'll tell ye your tale. <laughs> Or several tales, in fact, as those fine folk at Rare have pulled together the stories of three pirate captains and compiled them in this splendidly decorated book. They speak of the seas they've sailed, treasure they've plundered, and foes that they have fought, accompanied by sea shanties and stunning artwork of the wildlife and nature they've encountered on their journeys. Behold the lands and lore of Sea of Thieves in this beautifully illustrated and sea-worn book, written by Paul Davies, the author of the Assassin's Creed, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Halo 4 art books. So raise the anchor, lower the sails, and set a course for your local game store to land yourself some literary treasure. <coughs> Discover your inner pirate with Rare's upcoming action-adventure multiplayer experience, Sea of Thieves. Plot your course for hidden riches in a treacherous shared open world, whether it's by sailing into the unknown or firing your teammates out of the ship's cannons. This game has it all, including a kraken, beautiful looking sea and a not so hidden tankard full of grog, an alcoholic beverage found on the ship. Don't get too merry though, you'll be walking the plank quicker than you can say "ah." The closed beta gathered a staggering 332,000 players, with an average of 14.5 million cumulative hours watched. The game reached first place in live viewers on both Twitch and Mixer. Offering cross-platform play, Sea of Thieves is heading to Xbox One and Windows 10. A Way Out is a third-person action-adventure game specifically designed for online and split-screen co-op play with no single-player mode. Embark on a unique adventure playing as convicted prisoners Leo or Vincent as they work together in an attempt to escape prison. You'll need to distract guards and source tools and resources as you go to successfully execute your escape. Roles are not fixed either and can be swapped depending on your preferred style of play. Plus, even if you don't own the game, you'll be able to join your friends' online game sessions. Winning Best RPG at Gamescom 17 and the Game Critics Awards, Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom is a third-person role-playing game developed by Level 5 and published by Bandai Namco. Players must complete quests playing as Evan, a young king taken from his castle out on his own adventure to reclaim his taken kingdom. In an open world, you're able to freely roam towns, villages, dungeons and various other dangerous locations, set out objectives while encountering enemy battles and use your companions, Higgledies, to defeat enemies and reach far areas. This week, we're winding all the way back to 2001 when Halo first burst onto the gaming scene. 
Developed by Bungie, Microsoft's first-person shooter was an immediate hit when it was launched back in 2002 in the UK. The game opens with the Pillar of Autumn exiting slipspace near a mysterious ring-shaped space station. The ship is attacked by the Covenant, a religious collective of aliens, forcing the captain to crash the ship on the ring. Chief and the ship's AI unit Cortana manage to escape and quickly regroup with other survivors. They learn that the Halo Ring was created by another group of aliens called the Forerunners and is actually an intergalactic weapon of mass destruction designed to wipe out all sentient life. As the Covenant ignorantly try to activate the Ring, believing it to be a path to their salvation, Chief and the surviving humans must fight an uphill battle against overwhelming odds to save humanity. The groundbreaking narrative was accompanied by a multiplayer that changed the face of home gaming, both in terms of couch co-op and online. Halo Combat Evolved was remade by 343 Industries on Xbox 360 in 2011 to celebrate its 10-year anniversary. It was launched again in 2014, this time for Xbox One, and was included within the Master Chief Collection. The single-player game is identical to the Xbox 360 version, including the ability to swap between the updated anniversary graphics and the original game graphics. In 2015, Microsoft announced that the Halo series had sold more than 65 million units and has also been ranked by IGN as the fourth best first-person shooter ever made. Thanks for joining us for this week's TLDR. We'll be back in the same place at the same time next week. Don't forget, the 23rd is Retro T-Shirt Day. If you want to get involved, head over to game.co.uk or pop into your local store where you can get T-Shirts like this and many more.